Park family becomes an alarming statistic. They join the more than 100,000 Americans sickened every year by carbon monoxide poisoning. Zach Summers is live in College Park tonight with the story that you will only see on Atlanta News First. Zach, the mother of the family, says the College Park Housing Authority is to blame here. Yeah, mom says uh, there's a carbon monoxide detector in the family's unit, but it never went off. She spoke to me exclusively from her hospital bed. I know they put us at risk. I don't believe I know. For days, Tamika Ali and three of her children, ages 6 to 17, couldn't breathe on their own. The family hospitalized for carbon monoxide poisoning, Tamika says, could have been prevented. They should have made sure me and my kids were safe. I have, I have her housing. The family lives at the College View Hills Apartments in College Park. Tamika says she first alerted the city's housing authority of a gas leak in her unit nine months ago. They said they had to replace the stove. Tamika says even after the repairs, her family kept getting sick. I had a stroke. The babies were having the baby was having seizure. The other yeah, um, the seventh year I was having severe respiratory problems. I didn't know what was going on. Last Wednesday, doctors called Tamika, saying she had high levels of carbon monoxide in her body. She again notified the housing authority. The gas company shut off the gas. The next morning, Tamika and three of her children woke up vomiting and could barely breathe. It's not right. It's not right. And for them not to take accountability and to even call me and tell me, Miss Ali, we're sorry, that just hurts me to my soul. We reached out to the College Park Housing Authority with questions, but the interim director would only say that Tamika's case is under thorough investigation. I just want them to make it right. Tamika says she wants a new unit, fearful that returning to her current one will jeopardize her family. Do y'all job. We got about a thousand kids over there. Inspect these apartments. They're not doing it. And, I, and I'm the first one to say it. Do your job because that could have caught wiped the whole family out. Yeah, 100,000 Americans sent to the hospital. 14,000 are actually hospitalized every year for carbon monoxide poisoning. That's according to the CDC. Those common symptoms include headaches, shortness of breath, and vomiting. Tamika and her children have since been released from the hospital. She's also lawyered up. Live in College Park, Saxomers, Atlanta News First.